Welcome to the morning of day two of the Sperry Top Sider ICSA Women's National Championship. I'm here with the B Division leaders after only two, ra two races, but you guys also sailed all of the semifinals as well yesterday and, and the day before. Um, so tell us, what have you learned about sailing here in Austin um, and, and, and what's, uh, what are you doing that's causing you to sail so well? Well, I think sailing in semis was a huge advantage. We kind of had an opportunity to figure out the venue a little bit kind of figure out some wind directions and whatnot. Um. Yeah, I think also in semis we were lucky that we had a pretty wide range of uh, a couple of different directions um, and different conditions from pretty light um, and to the last race of semis which was very windy. Um, <laughs> so we had a, a nice amount of practice um, on the lake which has been very helpful. Yeah, t talk to me about that storm that came through yesterday. We saw some, some video um, of just like the last half of the last race. Uh, take me through your, your experience with that. Yeah, I mean, it was it was an exciting race. Um, I mean, particularly at the end of it, um, the last downwind when the wind, wind really started to pick up, um, it was just sort of, you know, keeping the boat uh, upright was the most important thing, getting across the line. Yeah, by that point, we were just kind of looking to not have any catastrophes and just kind of end on <laughs> yeah, a good note. Finished. So it worked out well, all things considered. <laughs> Excellent. Now you guys, uh, this is the Harvard team coming from NISA, um, probably the hardest d district uh, for women sailing. Um, talk to me about your season and, and about uh, the qualifiers at, at BC. That must have been a tough one. Yeah, qualifiers were tough for us, but all season we had great practice. You know, our team really helped push us to get us ready for nationals. Yeah, we also had a lot of um, postseason practice. So after we were done with classes and finals and everything, um, we had a good couple of week, uh, weeks of practice before we came out here, which was really helpful too. And you guys sail in the Charles River in Boston. Did you sail your postseason practice there or did you move to something to mimic the, this lake? We had a few practices there, but the majority of our practices were out with BC um, at Savin Hill. So uh, a little bit more chop, um, which was uh, definitely good to practice in. Mm -hmm. does, does Boston Harbor even come close to uh, Lake Travis in terms of um, simulating the conditions? It was pretty similar the last race of semis <laughs> to some things that we sailed in <laughs> MPC. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think a little bit closer than the Charles in some ways, but it's, it's nice to have had practice at both because um, I think there were moments that were, you know, closer to the Charles and then things that were closer to practicing at BC. Lots more racing to come. We've got all of today and most of tomorrow to uh, finish this regatta. Looks like the breeze is up, but it's um, it's pretty light. What's going to be your approach today for uh, for racing and for the rest of the regatta? Uh, probably just good starts, staying in pressure and staying in phase. Yeah, the velocity, getting into velocity is really important. Um, so just keeping our head out of the boat, and you know we've got a lot of racing to go. So keeping keeping upbeat and yeah, keeping aware. All right. Well, great first set, and um, good luck today. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You.